and hello welcome everyone to this video uh, this video uh, I want to talk in this video I want to talk about using namespaces because I talked about the way classes uh, uh, classes and uh, functions were organized and now uh, you can collect many functions into one class and you can collect many classes into one namespace so uh, I have uh, started making a new namespace called unit conversion you can write here so, uh, and then uh, remember we have namespace first, and we we'll have curly braces. Then at the next level we have classes, and then at the next level we then have uh, our functions inside. So, uh, all right, how how do we uh, get namespaces started? All right. So what what have I done in the last video? Uh, I mean between videos. Okay, I've made this unit conversion namespace. Uh, okay. I have a test page CSHTML and a unit conversion.cs. Okay, so this is where we left off. All right, uh, we, we left off here. Okay, we left off here, and uh, uh, I I just made a demonstration for using namespace. So what I did is that, uh, well, last last time we talked about classes. Now I we did namespace. I'm doing namespace. So here's a namespace, uh, which I use. Okay, and then of course uh, because we have a class, we need to de uh, uh, we need to uh, so called declare an object first. So uh, for uh, classes within namespace, you still need to uh, declare objects. So this is where where I declare the object using the new namespace, and then after that, I actually use the ob use the function within the class within the namespace right here, right? So uh, don't worry, we'll take things one at a time. Okay, we'll take things one at a time. And uh, yeah, okay, I actually uh, already saved this uh, to my local GitHub repository. Uh, okay, I saved this to my local GitHub repository, this, uh, this uh, unit conversion CS. So uh, any, uh, I'm just going to remove it now. And then of course, uh, uh, my test page, well, I'm going to remove it as well and then I'll do a reset okay so uh, I, will, I will reload okay and here we are okay we will start where we left off in the last video except uh, well I have this unit conversion CS right here okay actually maybe I just remove this unit conversion CS also okay so that we, we start from exactly where we left off and anytime we need a reference, we can just reset everything. Okay, but anyway, uh, let's have the test page first. Okay, so here's where we left off. Uh, and we can see that this, uh, this, uh, this uh, razor page is getting more and more cluttered by the, by the video. Okay, every video we're going to add a bit of code here. And this, this file is going to get longer and longer. So far, it's like 181 lines. Not ideal. So, uh, <clears throat> remember I, I told you I was talking about this you want to make your your code as organized as possible all right so uh, maybe keep each uh, code a little bit keep it shorter make your code shorter uh, minimize don't don't have like 1,000 lines within one file maybe you can split it up into like two or more files each with 500 lines each all right okay so the example I want to give you is, uh, well, I'm going to have this temperature conversion class, but I'm going to uh, package it within a namespace so that I don't just have temperature conversion, I can have length conversion, uh, uh, width or mass conversion, etc, etc. So I'm going to make a new namespace for that. All right, so I'm going to save and quit. And how do I make a new name namespace? Right, so what I need to do is to copy a C, a C sharp template file. So I'm going to just copy the test plate, uh, test page template. Okay, so this is the test page template, C the test page cshtml.cs. So they kind of have a template for you already. Uh, so I'm just going to copy and paste this thing over, and that's how I'll make my new class. Okay, I'll just call this unit conversion.cs with a capital. Uh, letter, all right. I will just uh, 
the, the proper way, so called mo by convention, if you take a look at your CSHTML, all of these are they start with capital letter. I, I just didn't follow that, I just start with small letters. Okay, but uh, the convention they like to use is capital letters. Okay, so let's start. All right, so uh, let's let's uh, take a look at the unit uh, test page.chhtml and unit conversion.cs. We will have these two files open. Okay, and what do we have here? We have namespace public class test page model private uh, something. Uh, this is another class, and then we have public void on get, etc., etc. So I'm not going to have any of this. I'm going to I'm just going to delete all of this, all of the existing namespace stuff, and I'm going to start from scratch. Okay, so that I can show you what it what the process and top process is like. I'm going to leave this using Microsoft ASP Net Core the MVC, Microsoft ASP Net Core MVC Razor Pack uh, pages. I'm going to leave it down there because those are important for us to set up our C-sharp file somehow. So I'm just going to leave it down there. All right, so let me start. Uh, remember, remember our hierarchy? Uh, namespace helps us to collect similar classes together. So to de declare namespace, we just use namespace. And what is our namespace? I want this namespace to be called unit conversion, All right? And I'll have an open and close curly brace right here. Okay, so we keep it consistent. We can use uh, open and close, close curly brace, curly braces. And within uh within here, okay, within here we can have several classes. Okay, so class uh, uh temp conversion, temperature conversion. So I'm just going to leave this class down here. Of course, uh, I can. We should have it uh, capital letters. That's the proper way. Uh, but doesn't really matter. I'm just going to have it capital letters anyways, because most people like to use capital letters for classes. All right. So this class is called temperature conversion. And then we are going to just uh, uh, put our put our uh, uh, function within there. So I'll do public, okay. And so public is the access modifier. Remember, we need we discussed that in the last video. And then we will need to uh, define what is the output type, okay. And then we'll have our function name, which is a uh, okay C to F, okay Celsius to Fahrenheit. So open close brackets and open close curly braces always good practice so what are our inputs again we need the type of input and the type of uh yeah we need to type our inputs right so we will need to have a double temp f okay double uh temp f and that that will be the temperature in fahrenheit and then i have an integer uh decimal place okay integer decimal place so this is just like what we did the last video okay so this is first first part okay and then what do we do the next thing is to uh, have this all right <coughs> so uh, what's the c2f right. so um, we'll need to define uh, our output first we want a double temp c we want our temperature in degree C to be a double, meaning to say it's a decimal number, and we also need to return it to the environment eventually. Return temp C. So this is what I'm doing here. Double temp C, I'm declaring what kind of the type of variable, and I know that I need to return this variable to the environment. Okay? So we 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 kind of begin with the end in mind. We want to return the temperature in degree C to the uh back to the whoever's using this. Then what happens? Okay, I will say Temp F equals to uh, what? 9.0 divided by 5.0. Remember, we needed this. Uh, we needed to make sure that the the numbers are decimal. If not, they won't work correctly. That's what we discussed last time. And then I will put temp C, okay, plus 32.0, semicolon. Okay, that's the first part. That will help us do the raw calculations. Then the next part is to round it off. Okay, math. Uh, we use the math.round okay we use the math.round function okay uh, and that will be uh, available yeah so temp f equals to math.round okay temp f okay and you put the number of decimal places here okay uh, maybe I'll use decimal uh, places instead of des decimal place okay and I'm going to use decimal place uh, all right, so 
here's here's a yeah. Uh, here's a Vim trick, okay? If you want to find, use a find in page, just like, you know, you have, uh, you, you use control F and then you want to find something like here, test page, or dot net test, okay? You use control F here. So in Vim, you don't use control F, you use the, you escape first, make sure you exit, you exit insert and visual mode, press forward slash, and then type the, type the, uh, type the pattern you're looking for. So I want DEC, that's the pattern. I just press enter, okay? And then the cursor will move to wherever the Vim actually finds DEC. And now of course you can press N for the next occurrence, okay? N for the next occurrence, of course, and then you can press B to like go backwards, right? To go backwards. Okay, but it won't go backwards to the last one, but I think I only remember, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't remember how to uh, go for the last entry. Maybe it's shift N. I'm not really. Oh, it's shift N. Okay. So use N and shift N. Okay. N to go forward, shift N to go backwards. N to go forward, shift N to go backwards. So practice this a few times. Okay. So that, that is uh, that is how we, how we uh, search for the occurrences. So forward slash, uh, okay, escape forward slash DEC place. And then you go forward. Okay, and what do we do? We want to change this uh, to add an S down here. Okay, so that's it. And then we return the temperature in C. So that's it. We finished our declaration of the namespace, unit conversion. And then we put uh, this class called temperature conversion. All right, of course we can uh, populate or fill up this namespace with many other sort of unit conversions we want. Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, that's what we are doing. So let us uh, continue. All right. Uh, so uh, now that we have uh, so-called uh, declared the namespace, what do we do? All right. And how do we how do we make sure our new class? How do we make sure our new namespace and new class uh, is accessible to the to the next file? Okay. How do we make sure? that the class is uh, accessible to this razor page over here. So uh, remember uh, the razor, the test page CSHTML file is here and the unit conversion uh, uh, .cs uh, C sharp file is in the same folder. So you got to make sure they are in the same folder. Only then, yes, then you can, uh, uh, whatever namespace or class you declare here, you can use it over here. You need to make sure they are in the same folder. Okay, uh, uh, so for starters, just make sure they're in the same folder uh, uh, and you'll be okay. All right, that's, that's what I know at the moment. So as I'm, uh, again, I reiterate, I learn, I am learning this thing, this syntax, and as I learn, I, I share. So it's for my own memory, it's for, and if, it, if you find it beneficial, it's for you too. Okay, good for you. Okay, so let's declare an object. Okay, let's declare an object with our new namespace. All right, with our new namespace. Okay, how do we declare it? Okay, so uh, again, we need a type. We, remember, we need to, to have a type. So I need to have a type T3, okay? What is the type? The type is the, the class type, okay? This is a temp conversion, all right? So we'll need to put uh, the temp conversion with a capital T there. And then we can uh, delete the word type. I use the DW actually. So uh, that's another Vim trick. If you want to delete a whole word like this, use DW, all right? And of course I can press U to undo. Okay, DW to delete the word. Okay, so I will repeat a few times. Hopefully you get the gist of it. Okay, so, uh, but uh, yeah, I'll use BN to shift back and forth. Uh, okay, so yeah, normally normally this is how we do our object declaration, right? Then after that, we have to assign T3 a value. T3 uh, equals to new uh, tem conversion. Okay, now if you're going to write this like that, uh, it, it, might, it might throw you an error. Okay. It might throw you an error. 
Yeah, you see, uh, you say it's an expected semicolon. Okay, sure. I will change it and uh, wait. Hold on, lem. Hold on a minute. Dot net CS project, unit conversion dot CS needs a semicolon. Okay. Ah yes, yes. I forgot the semicolon here. Okay, so that's it. All right. So uh, this this uh this this kind of will throw an error. There's use of unassigned local variable temp c. Uh, blah 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 oh right okay so yeah uh, over here in my class I made a mistake okay my input should be temp c and my output should be temp f okay my goodness okay that's very careless of me so yes now it's restarted and then, uh, all right. What what are the error messages here? A new expression requires a, a double a open and close bracket or whatever. So, okay. Oh, I forgot the I forgot the open and close bracket here. Okay. So if you can read the error messages in .NET Watch, it'll be good. And then uh, once I fix that, there there were originally like three error messages here. Now there are only two. Okay. Uh, it's, it's complaining now. The type or namespace name temperature conversion cannot be found. Okay, so uh, we cannot just uh, use the temperature conversion in a class over here. We need to do something else. Okay, so we need to specify the namespace, and we do that by, well, looking at the namespace name here. The namespace is called unit conversion. So we have to add unit conversion in here. Okay, unit conversion. Okay. And then we need to type in unit uh, unit conversion. All right. Okay. Once that is done, uh, .NET will rebuild and things will be okay. They 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 won't uh, complain about this anymore. All right. So once you once you do this, uh, uh, what happens? Well, you can use the function straight away. Okay. Remember we we declare an uh, we declare an object here. Okay using this class which is under unit conversion temp conversion so once we uh, uh once we do this this object will be declared okay which is of this type unit conversion temperature conversion t3 so the t3 is of type unit conversion temp conversion and it will take on a new value unit conversion temp conversion open close bracket yeah so now it has that uh we can put in t3 right here okay we can put in t3 right here so I can put at t3 dot uh, what is the what is the thing called? Okay, I need to put this here. Uh, we go to the next one. This is a uh, c to f. Right, this is a c to f function. Okay, let's 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 write in the c to f, c to f, and then we'll have okay, thirty six point seven for example, and I'll put it to one decimal place. All right. And voila, look at what we have here, 98.1. Okay, so that is uh, the correct uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit conversion. Yeah. Okay, so that's all I have for you. Uh, so technically speaking, we do not, we do not need to ever uh, uh, declare classes over here using this add functions thing. Okay, you can if you want, but really don't need. And all of these things, you know, uh, you don't really need uh, this anymore. Right, you don't you don't need this anymore. You can actually just uh, move it to another test page or something like that. Right? Okay, you can you can shift this whole file to the archive uh, because that's uh, what we learn. Okay. So uh, okay, and that's all I have for you. Uh, I think it's a, yeah, it's a good demonstration of how to use uh, namespaces. Uh, and how to use classes within namespaces and how to use functions within classes within namespaces. So this is to help you to uh, navigate your way through the hierarchy right here. Hopefully this is helpful for your learning of C-sharp. Uh, it's certainly helpful for me to uh, pre present it so that my learning also is kind of you know, solidified. Yeah, hopefully this is helpful. Thanks for watching.